Well, good morning. I am so excited to be here. I cannot wait to share with you a story about my little Charlie. So Charlie is actually a little dog and he's pretty different than other dogs, um, but he is a wonderful, kind, sweet boy. And his differences make him make some decisions that mm, not really good. So I want to share with you that being different is actually wonderful. And in fact, all of the other Charlie books talk about how Charlie used that difference to do wonderful, positive things and help other people. But for now, let me introduce you to Charlie. So Charlie is a little dog. He's a cute little dog. He's got big floppy ears. He has skinny legs. He has huge paws. The thing that's really different about Charlie is his tail. Charlie's tail is three feet long and it causes him all kinds of problems. Last week when Mr. Whitney came home from work, he was so excited to see Charlie. He was jumping and wagging his tail and Mr. Whitney tripped over it and he yelled, oh, Charlie, get out of the way. And Charlie thought, wow, I'm just really excited to see him. Two weeks ago, Charlie was sleeping and he was dreaming and his tail was wagging and he knocked over Mrs. Whitney's beautiful lamp from Paris. Oh, Mrs. Whitney was so angry. She yelled, Charlie, you are so clumsy. And Charlie thought, well, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't even know I had done it. So Charlie decided it was time for him to find a new home. So he headed off to the big city. Well, he really didn't want to go. I mean, he'd been with the Whitneys since he was a little baby. But Charlie thought, no, I think I'm going to find myself a family that loves me all the time. So off to the big city he went. Oh, there he was in the middle of the city with all these big, tall buildings and lots of cars and lots of people. And wow, there's a policeman blowing his whistle. Charlie looked around and thought, I bet I could find a family here. So he noticed a green bench across the street. He looked both ways across the street, headed to the bench, hopped right on top and sat down to wait for his family. Well, pretty soon, a little old lady came wobbling down the street and she said, hey, hey, you dirty old dog, get off that bench. I want to sit down. I'm waiting for the bus. Well, Charlie thought, well, first, there's plenty of room on the bench. And why is she calling me a dirty old dog? The Whitney's give me a bath every week. Hey, get off that bench. So Charlie jumped off and moved on. All of a sudden, Charlie could smell something wonderful. It was hamburgers. Oh, his favorite food. He looked around and there was a man with a cart cooking hamburgers. So Charlie ran down the street, hopped on the cart and started to eat the hamburgers. Well, when the man saw him on the cart, he picked up his spoon. He yelled so loud that everybody looked. Hey, you mangy old mutt. Get off my cart. What are you doing eating my hamburgers? And he pushed Charlie off the cart and chased him down the road. Whew, finally, Charlie could stop and take a rest, but he didn't see what was in front of him. There, sitting right in front of Charlie, was a big, humongous, gigantic St. Bernard. Oh, Charlie thought, what am I going to do now? I am so tired. I know I can't run away. And, oh, I'm way too small to fight this dog. What am I going to do? Oh, what was I thinking running away from home? I mean, okay, so sometimes I am clumsy. Oh, sometimes it is my fault, but the Whitneys love me. I mean, they feed me whenever I'm hungry. They give me rides in the car. They even let me sleep in their bed. Here. Nobody loves me. Oh, what am I going to do? Suddenly, a big black cat came walking down the street. And the 
Big St. Bernard saw the black hat and off he went. And Charlie was saved. And Charlie knew then what he was going to do. He was going home. So Charlie headed off. He walked and he walked and he walked and nighttime came and Charlie said, oh, look, there's my fence. Oh, there's my bowl. Oh, those witties, they're so wonderful. And he ran up to the back door and he barked and he barked and he barked and the door swung open and oh, Charlie, where have you been all day? We have missed you. Oh my goodness, you're not hurt, are you? Oh, Charlie, you must be starving. Come on in the house, we'll give you a big bowl of food. Oh, Charlie, we love you. So Charlie knew he had made the right decision this time. Oh, he knew he'd probably get in trouble again sometime, but he made the decision that day that he would never, ever run away from the people who loved him the most. And that's the end of the story. So I wanna share with you Charlie was actually feeling quite unloved and he made a terrible decision about running away from home. And if you remember, all the things that happened to him in the big city had nothing to do with his difference, his tail. So Charlie knew that it was not a good idea for him to make a decision when he was feeling so unhappy because it became an unsafe decision for him. And that's important for us to remember. And he soon realized that he really was loved, but that sometimes people can be unkind. So it's important to remember that we should treat others with love and with kindness. And it's also important to remember that our differences in the world make this world a wonderful place, that wouldn't it be a boring place if we were all the same? And that your difference can actually make the difference in other people's lives. So next week, I'm gonna read you the story of Charlie and his new friend. And I'm gonna introduce you to a new character who is very different from Charlie. I can't wait for you to hear what happens. Have a great week. Thank you so much for letting me be here. Be kind, be safe, and I'll see you next time.